Hello students, my name is Anukuma Dotto. Today in my YouTube tutorial video of the new series of educational videos on NCERT Mathematics which is completely free to you. I have just taken the question number 5 from the exercise 4.2 of your book class 10 under quadratic equations NCERT Mathematics. Now let us see what the question says. The altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 cm, find the other two sides. That means we have to determine the measures of the two sides of the right angled triangle, namely the altitude and the base under the given conditions that the measure of the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle is 13 centimeters and that the measure of the altitude of that right angle triangle is 7 centimeters less than the measure of the base of that right angle triangle. So, to do this sum, let us proceed in this way. Let to be very clear, let us draw the diagram first. Let ABC is the right angle where the angle, the measure of the angle B is 90 degree. Let AB, the side AB is the altitude, altitude, and the side BC or CB is the base, and the side SC or CA is the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, hypotenuse of this right angle triangle ABC. Now, if we consider the measure of the side BC or CB, which is the base of this right angle triangle to be x centimeters x centimeters in that case the measure of the altitude a b of this right angle triangle will be according to question x minus 7 centimeters and according to question the high, measure of the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is 13 centimeters. This diagram is only for demonstration, only for demonstration. only for demonstration. So, to do this sum, let us proceed in this way. Write in this way. Here, the measure, measure of the hypotenuse hypotenuse here the measure of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle here the measure of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is equal to 
थार्टीन सेंटीमिटार थार्टीन सेंटीमिटार आफ्टर दिस रईट इन दिस वे लेट द मेजार लेट द मेजार अफ द बेस इज इक्ल टू एक सेंटीमिटार्स आफ्टर दिस रईट इन दिस वे डेफोर एकर्डिंग टू क्वेशन डेफोर एकर्डिंग टू क्वेशन द मेजार द मेजार अफ द अल्टिट्यूड मेजार अफ द अल्टिट्यूड इज इक्ल टू एक्स माइनास सेभेन सेंटीमिटार्स आफ्टर दिस प्रसिड इन दिस वे नाउ एकर्डिंग to paitha gulas theorem now according to pythagoras theorem x square plus x minus 7 whole square is equal to 13 whole square that again implies x square plus x square a minus b whole square identity x square minus 14x plus 49 minus the square of 13 it will be 169 if we can remember the multiplication table it will be more easier 13 13 169 is equal to 0 that again implies twice x square minus 14x if we deduct 49 from 69 we will get 20 so here we will get minus 120 is equal to 0 that again implies x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 so we have got a quadratic equation here where the value of s is 60 the value of s is 60 now if we multiply the number 12 by 5 12 by 5 or the number 5 by 12 we get the number 60 which is here and which is nothing but the s of this quadratic equation so this middle term of this quadratic equation can be replaced by minus 12x plus 5x so if we do so we will get that again implies x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0 that again implies if we take x as common we will get here x minus 12 plus if we take 5 as common we will get x minus 12 is equal to 0 0 that again implies x minus 12 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 after this write in this way 
therefore either x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. If we consider this relation x minus 12 equals 0, we will get the value of x to be equal to 12. And if we take this relation, then in that case the value of x to be equal to minus 5. After this, write in this way, since x cannot be equal to minus 5 a negative value of the measure of the side of any side of a triangle. Therefore, x is equal to 12. That is the measure of the base of the right angled triangle triangle is equal to 12 centimeters and the measure of the altitude measure of the altitude is equal to the measure of the altitude according to question x minus 7 centimeters in place of x now we will write 12 centimeters if we do so we will get 12 putting in place of x the number 12 minus 7 centimeters that is again equal to 5 centimeters if we deduct 7 from 12 we will get 5 centimeters so these are the two answers right in this way it will spare a little bit time to you. So, this is all for today. Why not? Of course, I will expect your kind likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions and clicking on the bell icon. Thank you.